Chris McCusker joins us now. Chris, we were just chatting about this uh, mm. during the commercial break. It was an historic weekend at movie theaters across North America. Two blockbusters made their debuts on the big screen. Yes, and between the two of us, we saw each of them, right? You saw Oppenheimer. Right. And I saw Barbie. Yes, so we were now, conversing. Yes, but except that we're a little out of the ordinary, I think, Erica. It seems like everybody saw both. Yes, I couldn't do the whole Barbenheimer <laughs> experience, but I yes. will see Barbie at some point. Yes, yes. <laughs> As we were discussing, that would have been five plus hours in the it's movie It's a little theater. much, yeah. <laughs> yes, but some noteworthy takeaways from the Barbie movie in particular. So an honor for a film directed by a woman. Not only did Greta Gerwig's Barbie shatter the first weekend record for a film directed by a woman, but the movie also broke the opening weekend record for 2023. So $162 million in ticket sales at North American theaters. So Barbie is now catapulted past both Captain Marvel in 2019 and Wonder Woman in 2017, both of those directed by women. Uh, the showing is also interesting because the audience, 65% women, and generally, uh, the way it pl has played out in the past, movies that open over $100 million have a majority male audience. Now, Oppenheimer also beat expectations selling out IMAX theaters this weekend that is the preferred format for this movie it brought in 80 and a half million so this marks Christopher Nolan's biggest non-Batman debut and let me get this right one of the best ever starts for an R-rated biographical drama. Wow, incredible. Just incredible yeah. numbers. Okay, for many months there has been a lot of concern about the Canadian economy, but according mm -hmm. to some economists, we may be headed for a soft landing, Chris. Yes, a so-called soft landing, which means no recession, at least according to this monthly Bloomberg survey. Uh, they spoke to 27 economists and they are expecting the economy to stall in the second half of this year with interest rates at a 22 year high, but it will not contract or at least it's not expected to contract and we can't hold them to any of this because anything we now know can happen tomorrow. Uh, there's no mention of a potential recession next year, but definitely likely not this year. The survey shows that uh, there's also no expectation for an interest rate cut now until April. The Bank of Canada, of course, hiked rates in June and July and sort of hung it a little bit on consumer spending, which is showing signs of slowing. All right, and even though data breaches have become commonplace, mm -hmm. they still cost businesses a ton of dough. Yes, and this is according to a new survey from IBM. Companies still paying nearly $7 million in data breach costs. That's the third highest in the world. Financial services and energy companies are cyber criminals' favorite targets, which are by far the most impacted across Canada. Uh, we did see that breach at uh, Indigo and Suncor, which is the parent company of Petro-Canada gas stations earlier this year. Uh, the way experts see it, cyber criminals are choosing to extort industries with little to no tolerance for downtime to force victims to pay. And that's why these tallies, I guess, are increasingly moving up. Okay, thanks for that report, Chris. That's business okay. editor, Chris McCusker.